In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit the ZWO EAF electronic autofocus motor onto a Celestron Edge HD 11 inch or 14 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. And to do that, you're going to need the adapter for it, which is the ZWO EAF bracket for Celestron C11 and C14. Once you have those two items, you're ready to go. So let's get started. So this is the focus knob, and firstly, we need to loosen off the two mirror locks that lock the mirror in place when you're using manual focus and they need to be left unlocked. Next we need to pull the rubber cover from the focus knob. This can be quite hard to get off, you need to pull it pretty hard but it does come off. So here's the adapter. We need to take this apart because the assembly sequence is much easier if you put individual pieces in first. So we need to remove these two screws and these two screws and we'll take this item into its three constituent pieces. Now we'll take the small end plate off. This is an M2 Allen key. Okay, so that's into its individual pieces. Now we need to loosen the orange circular disc plate that surrounds the focus knob. For this it's a medium sized Phillips screwdriver. They're quite long screws, so they need quite a few turns to get them out. And then we bring in this part of the mounting plate and careful with the orientation here, make sure you have it the right way round and we want the bracket to point out towards the outer edge of the telescope. It is quite tricky lining up the bolts with the threaded holes inside so just persevere and take care once you've got two in, obviously the third one's much easier but I find it quite tricky getting uh, the screws to, to actually find their thread, threaded hole. The problem is that the screws are so long that they tend to skew off on an angle and then they don't find a hole. Now I'm not doing these up too tight at this point. Uh, if you do them up too tight the focus knob doesn't turn freely. At the moment it's turning nice and freely. That's something we'll, we can adjust a little bit later on. So now we bring in the second piece this needs to be bolted on here but note that the screws need to go through the third slot from the end as you see here so I've put uh, the first screw in into that third slot so you can see that and I've also later on removed these screws and put a split washer underneath them just to, to prevent them from loosening You can see there's some wobble on the on the base at the moment, which we'll deal with later. Okay, so now we need to take the coupler, and the coupler that comes with the adapter is uh, a big fat hole on one side for the focus cylinder, and we're going to undo the, the grub screws, all four grub screws, on this coupler, so that they don't protrude at all inside the holes, and that will allow us to easily slip the coupler onto the focus knob and also at the other end for the motor shaft. So we'll just slide that in place for now. now. Although I'm doing up a grub screw here, later on I loosen that and it's important to do that for now 
and just nipping up those two grub screws. Just so it doesn't fall off really. So now I'm making sure that the motor shaft end of the coupler, that the grub screws there are nice and loose. Now we need to attach the small plate to the focus motor body and for that purpose we use these two threaded holes in the body and we need to make the two long slots in this plate with those holes but we need to be careful that we put this plate the right way up. These two recessed smaller holes need to face uh, towards the body of the focus motor as you see here and not the other way up. So you've got the smooth surface without any recesses on top. Now for the M4 bolts that are going to attach this I've also used split washers to prevent it working loose over time. And in fact, uh, just jump, jump in ahead slightly, if you actually make sure that these screws are tightened up with them in the, in the halfway point, in the middle of this long slot, that actually saves you some bother later on. I'm slightly off the middle here and had to make a tweak, which you'll see shortly. Okay, so with that in place, we can now take that to the rest of the telescope assembly. Now the trick here is to look at where the flat is on the motor shaft relative to the body. In this case it's pointing downwards and is parallel with that bottom face of the motor. So we can pop the shaft into the coupler. We still know where that flat is because we know which side it's parallel with. So now we can pop the, the small screws in that join the two pieces of the brackets together. It's a little bit of fiddly to hold this and do it up whilst filming it, so I have a bit of a fight with it here as you can see. Now as you tighten these two screws up, it pulls the two pieces to be, to be at right angles to each other you'll see that as I tighten this up now and actually what happens is it causes the motor shaft to not be concentric with the focus knob shaft and that is putting a bit of a twist or a skew if you like on the coupler and the coupler is not moving freely here so for that reason I now make an adjustment and you can either adjust the big screws or the smaller screws but uh, I choose to use the smaller screws because they're easier to access. So I'm just going to re-loosen those slightly and then shift the position up a little and re-tighten. What I'm trying to do is to get that coupler nice and straight and parallel. If you look at the little slot, the spiral slot in the coupler, the gaps should all be the same size as each other. And you should be able to slide the coupler back and forth quite easily. So I'm centering it now to have an equal gap roughly at either end. And once I achieve that, I can now carefully rotate so that one of the grub screws is uh, aligned with the flat on the shaft, which we know is pointing towards the body, the face of the body at the bottom there. So I can now tighten up that grub screw onto the flat on the motor shaft. And as I do that, you will see the coupler actually turn. Just here, the coupler actually turns as the grub screw seats itself on the flat of the motor shaft that's important. It's important that that's the first grub screw you do up and only that then once that one's tight do you tighten up the others. All the other grub screws are tightened onto the outer face of a cylinder. So it's really only that one on the flat of the motor shaft that is critical. Okay. So with all the grub screws nicely tightened, we're pretty much there. All we need to do is connect up the USB cable and we're pretty much ready to go. But remember, we still have this possible issue with play in the, the body. And if you do still have play there, then you can slightly tighten these screws with the crosshead screwdriver. Uh, but don't over tighten it or you'll make it difficult for the motor to turn the focus. And of course you may wish to plug in 
either the hand controller or the temperature sensor depending on what you're looking to do. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, like and click that bell if you want to see more of my videos. Clear skies. Thank you.